Now, IBS is a very unique school, and that's something I'm sure you're all aware of, as many of you have come from different parts of the country. It's not a typical school. Right? Here, teachers will not talk to you for hours on end, forcing you to memorize facts and uh, numbers and vocabulary just to pass the test. Instead, this is a place where everyone, both students and teachers, can learn from each other. Now, as Andy said, I teach a class on Japanese literature, and I'd like to open up with a quote from one of my favorite authors. Not a Japanese one, but I think this quote is very uh, fitting for this time. And this quote is from Neil Gaiman. He says that, I hope in this year to come, you make mistakes. Because if you are making mistakes, then you are making new things, trying new things, learning, living, pushing yourself, changing yourself, changing your world. You're doing things you've never done before. And more importantly, you're doing something. Now the reason I wanted to share this quote with you is because all too often in life, we're afraid of making mistakes. I'm sure every single person in this room right now has had a moment when they didn't do something because they were afraid of doing it wrong. What happens when we get a wrong answer on a test? Or when we pronounce a word incorrectly? Or when we say something stupid? How do we feel? Foolish? Inadequate? But mistakes have a good side. Because mistakes are probably the greatest learning tool we have. It took Edison many tries to invent the light bulb. And we asked, when he was asked about all the failures, he replied, I didn't fail. I found 10,000 ways it didn't work. Now that's how you should view your mistakes over the next year. Not only that, but also for the rest of your life. Don't view them as something to be afraid of, but view them as something you can learn from. Every mistake is a chance to learn what you did wrong and to do better the next time around. You didn't learn to walk by listening to a lecture and then take it, taking a written test. You learn by standing up, taking a step, falling on your ass, and then getting back up to try again. The fact of the matter is that every single one of you, by walking through that door, by sitting down here in front of me, you've shown more courage than most people. Learning another language is hard work. There's no two ways about it. Devoting yourself to an entire year of intensive language study, that's a huge commitment. And it's one that most people wouldn't have the courage to do. Now here in Japan, English is taught beginning in elementary school, all throughout junior high, high school, and university. In some places, it starts as early as nursery school. And yet, despite all those years of memorization, taking tests, less than 20% of Japan's population can speak English. And the number who can speak it fluently is even lower than that. Most people buy into this myth that English is simply too hard for Japanese people to learn, and so they give up before they even start. But by coming here, you've proven that you aren't most people. You've just accepted a responsibility, a responsibility to improve over the next year. And it's going to be hard. You're going to hit plateaus where you feel like you can't possibly go any further. But you'll surprise yourselves. You will come out at the end of this year having done things that, right now, probably seem impossible. Now, I know this is true because I've seen it happen every single year I've been at this school. And you won't be alone. That's the most important thing. The teachers and the staff here at IBS wouldn't be here if we didn't have a desire to help you improve. We'll be there to pick you up when you stumble, to help you find your way when you feel lost, and to cheer you on even when you think you're ready to give up. But more importantly, you'll have each other. Right now, the people sitting to the left and to the right of you are probably complete strangers. However, by the time graduation rolls around, those people will feel like family to you. It's been an absolute pleasure for me to have taught here for the past few years. I've been proud of every single class I've taught and every single student I've taught. And I'm looking forward to adding your name to that list as well. I'm excited to have the opportunity to get to know each and every one of you, even in this difficult time, and I hope that this year we can all learn from each other and find new ways to press forward.
Thank you. You're welcome.